Dog 4, Day 10. Another early-ish morning walk, and the most exciting thing to happen so far was being surrounded by a flock of local sheep being moved from their old field to a new one. The farmer warned me beforehand, so we crouched down in the shade of the hedge and watched as the flock barrelled down the lane towards us. I've never been at this level among so many sheep, but they kept a good distance from us, probably because of my hound, but she didn't seem to worry them unduly. My dog's reaction? She lay down on the grass and watched calmly as they ran past, didn't make any sound or any sudden movement. I'm so proud of my dog, especially as I told the farmer that she wouldn't make a fuss. Back for a well-earned breakfast and lazing anywhere there's a cooling breeze. Tomorrow is a big day for her as she's off to the vet for the big check-up. No breakfast and no drink for either of us, as I figure that whatever is good for her will be good for me, as well as seeming a bit thoughtless if I eat in front of her. Naturally, she will pick up immediately on the change to the routine, so I will have to do everything as close as possible to leaving, so she doesn't have too long to worry. Fingers crossed, my hound. Dog 4, Day 11 Vet Day A walk in the misty cool of the early morning, and it really seemed a bit autumnal. She made a new friend today with the lady whose dog was attacked by a German Shepherd a few weeks ago and who hadn't met Dog 4 yet. At the vets I handed her over to the lady from the rescue centre who will be in charge of Dog 4 for her stay there and who will keep me informed about what happens. On the drive home I felt a pang of loss as there is always the possibility that the vet will find something that cannot be treated or that she will not survive the anaesthetic. She is old after all and the rescue centre ladies did warn me before we went there. In the meantime I'm left with all the space I could want on the sofa, no curled up shape on the duvet in the hall and plenty of tins of food and packets of treats in the kitchen. I've just been told that Dog 4 will be kept at the vet overnight but the rescue centre couldn't tell me what was going on. A night with the back door shut, no clickety-click of claws on the kitchen floor at 3.30am and no coy smile and waggy tail from the duvet in the morning. 